Hello everyone, Exodus here, welcoming you back once again to Doki Doki Literature Club. And today's adventure is going to kick off somewhere where we're not supposed to. In fact, uh, I gotta turn this down a little bit. I just got done recording 45 minutes of play. So I'm going to recap that 45 minutes because at some point, I pushed a button on my keyboard here that minimized my game. It kept recording, all the audio was there, but the screen was frozen at one scene. So we have none of the texts, none of the facial expressions, none of the... So, basically, here's what, I'm gonna sum it up for you. It started out, I was walking home with Sayori. She asked me if I would prefer to walk home with, or if I had the chance, would I walk home with Yuri or her instead? I picked Yuri. Next day in class, Sayori was a little bit, or in, in club, Sayori was a little bit off. She was very... Not with it. Not with it, okay? So, yeah, you gotta give the monkey scratch. Like, what's the word? No, she just wasn't into it. She was kind of sad. I figured it was because of what I had said. This is, you know, during poem time, so. After, anyway, after the poem reading time, she left the class. Kind of weird, kind of weird. She said, tell everybody I don't feel good. Okay, so. That takes us back to poem time. Yuri and I had her little, you know, she's, she's my girl. Natsuki wouldn't even talk to me. Monica was very m into me. It was strange. Nevertheless, it came to the end of the class. Monica gave all of us jobs for the festival because I guess it's the weekend. We're on the weekend now. She gave us all jobs. Natsuki is to make cookies. She is doing pamphlets and Yuri is doing decorations. They things got heated. Those girls looked like they were gonna, you know, they were getting mad because they all want me to. You know, I had to choose which one of them to help. Me being me, I picked Yuri. Natsuki did not like that. Monica, that was my one chance so far to get to know Monica because Sayori wasn't there. But I went with Yuri. So, the weekend's here. When I quit, it was Sunday, the day I'm gonna meet with Yuri at my house to work on decorations. So that basically sums up everything I think that matters in the last episode. Saved you 45 minutes. Although I am kind of upset because I've I mean, it's still 45 minutes of recording. So, let's go ahead and continue on. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and is also and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when she it's just the two of us. Do I not have parents? Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Yo Sayori since she left club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? See, that's the whole... I should have picked Sayori, but I didn't want to. I decided to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering, before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. Makes sense. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up, up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Oh, well, casual. Hi, Exodus. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a, a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? I better get into a voice, shouldn't I? 
I'll try. I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Say Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. Yeah, I feel you, Sayori. I also recognize the same stuffed animal and wall decorations that she's had for years now. If you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but wait, how did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time, yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh, it's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? That's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to help Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. So it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So... That, that's no good, Exodus. Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. I don't know. I don't know. I just care about a friend. I mean, come on. I had a lot of friends that were girls growing up. You know, you, you knew they were friends. Don't get awkward, girl. I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation to, for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. You really put me in a trap. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? I guess I have no choice. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm so late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I feel, when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and care into waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. I'm honestly, you know, the hints were there, but I'm honestly in shock too. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm going to kind of let this play out because it's kind of deep. Yeah. See, you know, that's that's the problem is people keep those kinds of things bottled up because the, the disorder tells them to or their body or mind tells them to and it, it's tough. Eh. Strange. Huh. That kind of makes me wonder. I mean, yeah, she probably did like me, but did she like like me? Hmm. Up oh, there, there's my answer.
This has already been a lot more, more, a lot more to it than the last bit that I accidentally screwed up. So. Tough, isn't it? Next. Yay, Yuri in street clothes. Hi, Mama. Now I know this trick. Hi, Mama. We're going to let it pan out because I, 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 yeah, this is too good for me to ruin with my voice. Things get intimate. Well, maybe I should just read along because kind of help it along. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Yeah, you free. Oh, boy. So, the Aries here, we're here to work. That's all. We're just going to, you know, work. Oh, look at my room. Huh. That guy's got a... Yeah, I got that keyboard and mouse. Cheap. Cheap TV. Damn. Of course. It's so clean. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I do. I always clean my room before. So if somebody showed up right now, I would probably die. No, I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Kinky. That would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. Uh, <laughs> oops. Kirk, God, she's just what do you go? It's like a kid at a candy store. She's like, oh yeah, yeah. This is this is funny. Atmospheric enhancements, you know, mood lighting. Aero, uh, aromatherapy candles. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. She wants to bring the feel of the books. It's a literature club. Come on, come on. Gotta bring the feel of the literature forward. Right? And for cupcakes, I guess. Like, I'm determined to... <laughs> you, you don't like Natsuki either. My girl. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? Not at all. No, no. No, 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 no. We like intense. It's something that I like about you, actually. It, is that so? It makes me feel believed and kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. I think that, yeah, okay, so she likes to have the fire flickering, okay, clever. What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, well, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. Sure. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Ah, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. 
relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Where he takes a cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to smell. Okay. You feel warmer in your heart. That sounds a lot like arousal. Heart starts pounding faster. Get hot and warm feelings. It does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this. So I'll just trust your opinion, yeah. Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yep, here you go. Let's whip out some origami paper. Yeah. We won't be using this paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do with this is write different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Make it fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you put it. Oh, there's that intense word again. <laughs> She's starting to... Oh, yeah. It's time to start writing, huh? He's got bad handwriting too. This is awesome. I feel for this is so great. Like, huh? My character in a video game. I hope nothing bad happens to him. Foreshadowing. <clears throat> Now she's whipping out knives. It looks really fancy. Uh-uh. Well, Embarrass Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know. If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. A combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe? What am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. You're laughing at me? No, I'm not laughing at you. I'm just... It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, well, an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah. Kind of intense, haha. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you're, you're, you know, intense. Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Your relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Hmm. So I'm kind of just, you know, doing stuff with a knife. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. I didn't expect to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. I must have poked myself. Oh boy.
I'm flabbergasted. She just sucked my bloody finger. <laughs> now I'm going to try to comfort her a little bit, huh? Why would you do that? Now we're even. I knew that would be a bad idea. Yeah. You're so weird. I know that's like, what? Weird? Uh... I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. That knife, huh? Foreshadowing! It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move into the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. Okay. So, now we're gonna paint. Just a little bit of water is okay. There you go. See, she's, she was just doing what I was doing, actually, rolling up her sleeve. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's fix the paint. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner. Gradient, that sounds familiar. Ah, sunrise and daytime and sunset and nighttime. That would be kind of cool. Okay. Clever, clever. Hmm. It'd be more fun to surprise me, huh? Hmm. Okay, Mama. Whatever you say. Oh my. <laughs> I was terrible with watercoloring and water paints. I'm sorry if this feels too childish. Oh, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself, For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one, with one other person. Even if it's something simple, like reading. It doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. Poor girl. She just wants a friend. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. From you, maybe, not from me. I feel that way about things like anime and games where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. 
I think I feel the same way. I knew you'd understand. Oh! <laughs> Whoops, we did the classic head thump. Whoops. My bad. It's so awkward, I don't want to ruin it with my crappy voice. <laughs> Aw, I'm cleaning the paint off of her. She's so sweet and innocent. Oh, you're so cute, Yuri. Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry, I didn't want to use cold water. Wait. Just for a little longer. It's really nice. Ah. She wanted a kiss. Not close. Yeah, that was pretty intense. Like, I was like, I was getting ready to cue the music, if you know what I mean. All little kids, please leave the room. Paint, paint, paint. It needs to dry. I can do the letter in the class. Okay. You said that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? No, it's not that. I'm just glad we managed to get everything done. I am... Yeah, you, they read into the details in the negative. Like, you know, whew. Glad we don't have to worry about that, you know. Now, get that booty over here. But no. I need to start making dinner soon. So you don't have any time left? See? See? I, I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounds like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends. <coughs> they both got the vibe going on. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say it without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted, because we can do this again. Whatever you want. You can come over, or we can go hang, go out somewhere. Oh. I forgot you don't like going out much. Anyway. You know what I'm trying to say, so... You're, you're very thoughtful, Exodus. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yuri just takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. Ah! I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? If I don't even get a chance, as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Sayori? Hi, Exodus. Just now, we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Exodus. I stopped by to say hi. It's nice to see you. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll be able to... We'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course! Sayori beams. Yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Wow, she's... A <laughs> oh, gone. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Well, I tried staying in my room. My imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come over here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know... How much fun you were having with Yuri! And how close you got to her! It makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori. Aww. She, oh, she's sad. But happy sad. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Exodus? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. Oh no, she's going into one of her, I guess, depressed fits. Uh-oh. What was what? Yeah, see, I, she needs to understand. I, I, I guess I don't know. I'm there for you, Sayori. We're there for you. I might like you more than you like me. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself, Exodus. I like you so much that I want to die. Oh, poor girl. That's how I feel. And, and that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? You still believe me? Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. Son of a gun! They really like to make this tough! See, if I was all, you know, I might have to revisit this game just to see some different outcomes. She's smiling. Mm, yeah. This is tough. This is tough. This is a deep tough. Like, I don't want to hurt her. But you don't want a lot. Wow. Glad I never got caught in any situations like this.
Women be running left and right on me. Jesus. Yeah, this is, um, I apologize for my lack of conversing with you all. This is just so intense. Yeah. Ah, they have the festival. This took a long time to get this far. Hopefully my recording wasn't ridiculous this time, because if it was, I don't know what I'll do. Get mad, I guess. So, hope everybody's enjoying. Things are picking up. Yuri and I are getting extremely close, like I got wet, sweaty hands. Sayori's depressed and sad. Monica's saying things that we don't know what but doesn't sound good. And Natsuki's still a little bitch. I didn't get to mention that this episode because it was just me and Yeri and Bounce go wow and depression, sadding, needs wants to cry stuff. So, lot to take in. I hope everybody's enjoying. We'll be back soon because I want to finish this. So, till next time, take care. Till then, peace.